Do you suffer from thyroid fatigue? And are you wondering about simple things that you can do to get rid of this thyroid fatigue? This is what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I am Dr. Anshul Gupta. I am a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their chronic diseases by using the concepts of functional medicine. I do offer virtual online consultations to people all over the world. So if you're interested, find the link in the description. So majority of the people who have a thyroid disorder suffer from dreadful fatigue symptoms. They feel tired all the time. The major complaint is that, you know, they wake up in the morning. Sometimes they have good energy. Sometimes they feel tired in stealth in the morning. But the majority of people, what they will complain is that as the day goes on, they feel more and more tired to the point that they feel like they need to take a nap during the afternoon. And some people have to take a couple of different naps to actually just go through the whole day. Now the traditional thought is that the thyroid fatigue is related because people have deficiency of thyroid hormone. So that's the reason people get started with the thyroid medication. But now the research proves that several people, even after taking the thyroid medicine, still suffer from thyroid fatigue. And they have no idea why is the case and what to do about it. But functional medicine has figured out that there are underlying reasons of this thyroid fatigue. And once we address those, we can actually improve your thyroid fatigue. So let's talk about those. First, let's talk about why you're feeling fatigued if you have a thyroid disorder. So the first reason that you're feeling thyroid fatigue is that along with you having a thyroid dysfunction, you also have a mitochondrial dysfunction. So if you have a thyroid disorder, you already know that your thyroid is not working properly. But there is something else in your body which is called mitochondria that is also not working. So what is mitochondria? So mitochondria is a small organelle in your body which is present in each and every cell of your body. And it's called the powerhouse of your cell. Basically, mitochondria is responsible for producing all the energy in your body. So just imagine if your mitochondria is not working, and it's not able to produce energy, you are going to feel fatigued. But nobody is paying attention to the mitochondria. They're just trying to put you on more thyroid hormones, just hoping and thinking that the mitochondria will start working. But it doesn't. So we need to do specific things to actually get your mitochondria to start working. The research actually proves that in thyroid patients, mitochondria is not working. And that's probably the reason that, you know, they are feeling fatigued all the time. Now, later on today in, in the video, we're going to talk about what you can do to improve your mitochondrial dysfunction. But let's talk about more reasons of feeling thyroid fatigue. Now, the second reason of feeling thyroid fatigue is something called adrenal fatigue. Okay, so there is adrenal glands in your body. The adrenal glands are small endocrine glands which are sitting on top of your kidneys. Now they are responsible for produce, producing certain hormones like adrenaline, like cortisol. And they are very, very powerful hormones that your body need to function in the optimal ways. Now there is a strong connection that is present between your thyroid and your adrenal glands. And once you have a thyroid dysfunction, it actually affects your adrenal glands and lead to the adrenal dysfunction also. Now when we are giving you the thyroid hormone, we are taking care of the thyroid, but we are not taking care of the adrenal glands. Now again, the research proves that the adrenal dysfunction is related to the fatigue. Okay, so that adrenal dysfunction leads to an imbalance in your thyroid hormone as well as leads to the imbalance in the adrenal hormones. Like you have high cortisol or you have very low cortisol. That's one way of knowing whether you have adrenal dysfunction or not. And that's what you're going to talk about later on in, the, in today's video about how you can rebalance your adrenal glands. But adrenal dysfunction is also more important reason of having thyroid fatigue. Now the third reason, the third reason is underlying inflammation. Yes, research proves time and again that the thyroid patients have high levels of inflammation in their body. And that inflammation is destroying their thyroid gland. When we are trying to replenish your thyroid hormone, we are not doing anything to take care of the inflammation. So this is very important that we also take care of the inflammation in your body. And this, inflama this inflammation is destroying your body from inside out. And that's the reason even after taking the medication, the thyroid hormone, you are not feeling better or your fatigue is not getting better. Now, the last reason is that 
improper thyroid medications. So the most common thyroid medication that has been given to you is called levothyroxine, which is just one thyroid hormone called T4. Now our body produces two different kinds of thyroid hormone. One is T4 and one is T3. T4 actually is the inactive version of your thyroid hormone and T3 is a more active version. T4 gets converted to T3 in your body so that your body can utilize the T3 and can do its job. Now, most of the time, the T4 hormone, the levothyroxine works good in majority of the patients. But there are a huge number of patients who, in which this T4 hormone doesn't work that great and we need to give them T4 plus T3 together to actually make them feel better. So again, improper thyroid medications by just giving them T4 is a very important reason that a lot of people feel thyroid fatigue. Okay, so those are the more main four reasons that you be that people are feeling thyroid fatigue. One is, as I said, mitochondrial dysfunction. Second is adrenal dysfunction. Third is inflammation. And fourth is improper thyroid medication. Now let's talk about how you can improve all these dysfunctions to get your energy back. So first, let's talk about mitochondrial dysfunction. How to improve your mitochondria? So first of all, food is very important to improving your mitochondria. So what do you do? So mitochondria does not like processed food. Mitochondria doesn't like processed sugar. So you need to get rid of all of these foods, you know, from your diet. Okay. What does mitochondria like? Mitochondria likes good proteins, you know, like your fishes, you know, your chicken, your turkey, your nuts, your seeds, right? Mitochondria likes good fats, like your olive oil, your coconut oil, your ghee, again, your nuts and seeds. So these are rich foods and also mitochondria likes non-starchy colorful vegetables. So these are all the foods that mitochondria likes. So you need to give all these foods to the mitochondria so that it can function again. Now there are certain supplements which also helps to support your mitochondria which you can use to get energy back. So uh, there are supplements like coenzyme Q10, wonderful way of supporting your mitochondria. The second one is acetyl L-carnitine. Again, that's a wonderful way of supporting your mitochondria, which you can use. And the last supplement is alpha lipoic acid. It's a great antioxidant, which again helps to support your mitochondria and helps with energy production. So these are simple things that you can do today itself to kind of get your energy back, you know, from the mitochondrial dysfunction by feeding the mitochondria with good food and also using these supplements. Okay. Now the second thing, uh, the adrenal dysfunction. So we already spoke about how adrenal glands are interconnected with thyroid gland and how adrenal dysfunction leads to thyroid fatigue. So what can you do to kind of rebalance your adrenal hormones like cortisol? So the way to take care of this first thing you need to do is relaxation exercises like deep breathing and meditation. They are wonderful ways which can rebalance your adrenal hormones you know, calm your cortisol levels down and can also kind of rebalance your thyroid hormones too. So wonderful ways of doing it. You can do them a couple of minutes a day of deep breathing, couple of minutes of day of meditation. That itself is enough to rebalance your adrenal hormones. Now there are certain supplements which also supports your adrenal glands, which you can use on the regular basis so that your energy gets back. Now these supplements are called adaptogens, okay? What they do is that basically help your adrenal glands to function better and give you more energy. So the number one supplement in this is rhodiola. So rhodiola has time and again proven through research that it can give you more energy and help you to get rid of the fatigue. So rhodiola is a good supplement to add if you have thyroid fatigue that can help you improve energy. The second supplement is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic medicine which has been used for ages and ages and again it helps to not only to calm your nerves down but also gives you more energy. So Ashwagandha is also very much useful. The last supplement that you can add is Ginseng. So Ginseng is another supplement which kind of can be helpful to supporting your adrenal glands and also kind of help you out with the adrenal fatigue. So these are simple things that you can do for supporting your adrenal glands by doing deep breathing, relaxation exercises and using these supplements. Now let's talk about inflammation. How do you improve your underlying inflammation which is destroying your thyroid gland? So again, food is your savior over here. So you need to remove foods which are causing inflammation. So these foods are gluten, dairy, soy, corn, sugar, processed food, 
fried food fast food all of those things are destroying or that are causing inflammation in your body and you need to remove all of these foods from your diet so that the underlying inflammation goes away and then there are foods which can help to get rid of the inflammation so you need to introduce these foods or eat them on the daily basis so the number one foods in that aspect is berries okay like blueberries blackberries raspberries uh, those are wonderful ways which kind of help to reduce inflammation and help with day to day fighting of your inflammation so make sure you you remove those you you add a lot of berries in your diet the second thing is non starchy vegetables colorful vegetables like your greens like your cruciferous vegetables you know like your beets all of these you know uh, vegetables are wonderful ways of reducing inflammation in your body and will also help you to get rid of thyroid fatigue now there are certain supplements which can you can use to also reducing inflammation the best supplement in that is omega 3 fatty acids the omega 3 fatty acids like epa and dha have proven time and again that they are very potent ways of reducing inflammation in your body in thyroid they definitely help with a lot of thyroid fatigue patients so take good omega 3 fatty acids that can help you with thyroid fatigue the second thing that you can do to reduce inflammation is curcumin yes curcumin is derived from an indian spice called turmeric and it has wonderful wonderful health benefits several health benefits of turmeric are there but one of the most important health benefits is that it reduces inflammation so that's the reason curcumin can be very much helpful for you to reducing inflammation as a supplement form okay so these are the things that you do to reduce inflammation and get your energy back now the last thing which was causing you to be thyroid fatigued is that imbalance or improper thyroid medications so as i spoke with you the most common medication which are being used in your case is called levothyroxine which is just a t4 hormone but sometimes people need a little bit of t3 hormone added to this t4 to feel better so sometimes you know like your your regular doctor or your functional medicine doctor can add a little bit of t3 medicine or uh, there are certain medicines available which are combination of both t4 and t3 along with it okay so that is what what you can consider doing all right so these are all different ways or different things that you can improve your thyroid fatigue the first thing we need to understand the reasons of thyroid fatigue and as i told you those are because of mitochondrial dysfunction because of adrenal dysfunction underlying inflammation and improper thyroid medications and then we went through all of these dysfunctions and what you can do simple easy ways you can do to actually get rid of these dysfunctions so i hope this video will be helping you to get rid of your energy get rid of your fatigue and get your energy back okay all right so as i said i do offer online virtual consultations to people to not only improve their thyroid fatigue but to reverse their chronic diseases like thyroid disorder so if you're interested in it the link is in the description all right thank you so much